Welcome to the post game show brought to you by SBS, a broadcasting network. For everyone, I'm Kyle Smith, a 28 to 6 win for Brother Rice against St. Ignatius, and I'm here with St. Ignatius tailback Joe Tony. Joe, you guys didn't get shut out. A very cool play call on fourth and six, but just not enough offensively to beat the Crusaders tonight. I mean, honestly, we shouldn't have used it. We didn't need it. That's the spot that we were in. We just want to get points on the board. But, I mean, we kind of just make the same mistakes that we always have. And, I mean, it's just we got to fix them. We got to fix them in practice. That's it. We got a whole week of practice now. We got Maris next week. And it's all about the future now. What has the coaching staff told you about these fumble snaps? I mean, it happens at the college level, at the NFL level, but it's got to stop happening if you're going to beat Maris next week. I mean, I fumbled, I fumbled three times in the past three weeks, and then I'll, uh, two last game, and then one in the game before. And Coach Miller, he's always honest, and we got He's always honest about it, and it's all about high and tight, and that's all he tells us. And yep. Did you get a little overexcited on that flea flicker? Like, please don't screw this up. Please don't screw this up. Were you saying that in your in your head as your wide receiver was wide open at the sideline? Yeah. We've been working on it the whole week, and on Monday I was I was doing it, and I, it wasn't working out too well. The ball was flipping on my wrist, and it got kind of better as the week went on. And I knew we were going to do it at some point in this game. Our coach was talking about it the whole week, and then we finally did it, and it worked out. Big game coming up against Maris. You don't want to fall to one and three on the season, especially if you want to make the postseason. Maris played Brother Rice tough, and they beat them 30 to 24. But they did struggle defensively. They were up 24 to nothing in that game, then they gave up 24 unanswered points. So you guys can do it offensively against that team. But what's it going to take offensively to score 24 plus points? Well, first of all, as we said the past three weeks, can't put the ball on the ground. Second of all, we got Wands. Wands is coming back next week, and that's a big deal. And Wands is a leader. David. David played very well for us today, and I mean, I love David and stuff, but we got Wanzug next week, and that's a big help. Any status on Justin Scott going into next week? Uh, Justin, I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be all right. I, I wasn't really paying attention, but I mean, I went up to him, I'm like, you good? And he's like, yeah, I'll be fine, and that's what matters. Obviously, you don't want to go to one and three. It's kind of a must win. I hate to use the terminology must win because every game's a must win, but you don't want, want to go to one and three. What's it going to take for a dub? Run the football. Run the football. That's what we do. We're going to run up the middle, and that's what we're going to do against Marist. That's Joe Tony, and that does it for our postgame show. So for our excellent crew, for Joe Midgel, for Anthony Saragoose, Kyle Anderson, and our excellent crew, including Jared Thomas, I'm Kyle Smith, and we'll see you next time on Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone.